The Boeing AH-64 Apache is the premier multi-role attack helicopter serving as the tactical backbone of the US Army's aviation fleet since its introduction in the mid-1980s. A twin turboshaft aircraft featuring a tandem cockpit where the pilot sits behind the co-pilot's gunner, it is engineered for high survivability and devastating firepower in adverse weather day or night. Its defining technological edge is a sophisticated nose-mounted sensor suite, the TADS PNVS, which allows the crew to identify targets at long ranges and navigate in total darkness. Some units are equipped with a round dome atop the AH-64D Apache helicopter, which is the radome for the ANAPG-78 Longbow Fire Control Radar FCR system. The Apache's armament is fearsome, highlighted by a chin-mounted M230 30mm automatic chain gun. This cannon is linked to the Integrated Helmet and Display Sighting System, IHADSS, meaning the gun tracks the crew member's head movements and aims wherever they look. Its stub wings are capable of carrying heavy loads of AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missiles and Hydra 70mm rocket pods. Heavily armoured to withstand significant battle damage and continuously upgraded, the Apache remains a dominant, lethal platform used by numerous allied nations globally. The TADS PNVS system consists of two independently rotating turrets. The upper turret houses the PNVS, ANAAQ-11, a wide field of view infrared camera slaved directly to the pilot's integrated helmet and display sighting system, IHADSS, to project thermal imagery of the terrain before their eyes, allowing for safe nap of the earth flight at night. The lower turret contains the TADS, ANASQ-170, a complex stabilized targeting assembly used primarily by the co-pilot gunner, CPG. The TADS integrates multiple sensors, including a FLIR, forward-looking infrared, for night targeting, a day TV camera, or modernized color sensors in MTAD's arrowhead variants for daylight clarity and a laser rangefinder designator, allowing the CPG to search for threats and guide Hellfire missiles while the pilot focuses on flying. I'm Chief Warrant Officer Duncan. I'm an AH-64 maintenance test pilot, and this is the AH-64 Apache. We're gonna start at the front. This right here is the modernized TADS. It is a sensor and laser designator for our Hellfire missile system. Up here, we have a modernized PINVIS, and they are both also night vision systems. So this is our 30 millimeter chain gun. It fires HEDP 30 millimeter rounds at 625 plus or minus 25 rounds per minute. All right, this right here is an EOMS. It is a defense system against IR weapons. And then this is an RSDS puck. It is a defense system against radar. Right here we have the main landing gear. It is a tailwheel system. So we have two main landing gear with one tailwheel in the back. This is our AGM-114 Hellfire missile launcher. We can fire both Romeo and Lima Hellfires, and it can hold up to four on each launcher for a total of 16. So this is another EOMS. It is a sensor against IR missiles.
And these are our T700 Delta engines. We have two of them, both made by GE, and they produce about 2,000 horsepower. So we have uh, our radar altimeter. Uh, this is a high-frequency antenna that we don't use anymore. Uh, this is an LSDS uh, laser detection system. And this is a flare dispenser. We carry 60 total, and we have 30 in each side. And then this is our horizontal stabilator. It articulates both up and down to articulate the nose. Coming around, we have our tail wheel. They can swivel in 360 degrees. Up to our tail rotor. It's candid 55 degrees, and it's separated into two separate blades so that it's more efficient and it minimizes the noise signature. This is our chaff dispenser. It fires chaff up into our tail rotor system to disperse it to make a maximum radar signature. This is another uh, flare dispenser. This right here is our SATCOM antenna for satellite communications. This is our air-to-air-to-ground -to -air -to -ground antenna so that we can talk to both ground forces and other Apaches in the air. Uh, this is a FM antenna for communications. Moving up, we have our rocket launcher. It fires 19 Hydra 70 rockets, and we can have four of them as well. To sight the Hydras, the pilot in the back seat has to aim the aircraft and get in trim on the target and then release the missile system. Then here is just black boxes, we call them. They're just avionics boxes. And then coming up here, we have our cross sabers emblem for our unit. We're a 6th Squadron, 17th Cavalry Regiment. So in the uh, pilot seat, we have some power levers on our left side that control our total engine output. Right next to those, we have our collective, which controls the pitch of all the blades at the same time to let us go up and down. We also have our master ignition and engine start system, as well as our APU start. Coming around, we have our keyboard, which allows us to interact with our MPDs, our multi-purpose displays which can uh, allow us to use moving maps, weapons, targeting systems, uh, basically anything we want, we can uh, put up on either display, on either side. We also have our fire detection system and extinguishing system. We have our uh, upfront display, which basically gives us a heads up of everything going on with the aircraft at the time. Coming over, we have a master zero eyes, which zero eyes is everything in the aircraft. We have our standby instruments display. And then coming to the center, we have our parking brake, our cyclic, which allows us to move around laterally. We have our pedals by my feet, left and right, which turn the nose. And then in the center console, we have some maintenance switches, windshield wipers. And then finishing up, we have where our information cards go to give us all of our mission information and our comms panel. Uh, to allow us to control our comms. And finally, our HDU, which is our uh, heads-up display for one eyeball that we use on our helmet that allows us to use our night vision system and targeting systems. This is the CPG, or co-pilot gunner station of the Apache, and it's where we conduct all of our engagements from. In the front seat, we have a SATCOM control head, which is how we use our satellite communications. Uh, we have another canopy jettison handle to jettison the canopies if we go in the water. Our fire detection and two MPDs. And then in the center, we have our TDAC, which is the major targeting system for the TADs and our Hellfires. And then on either side, we also have the handles. Uh, to control all of our weapon systems from the front seat. We also have a stowable cyclic, as well as our pedals. You can fly from either seat. There's really no change. Our UFD and comms on the right side, as well as another HDU. And that is the U.S. Army Age 64 Apache.
Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you next time.